Local 3 Sports with Jake Duran. Sponsored by UPCAP. Last Friday night, the Jeffers boys basketball team handed Dollar Bay their first home loss of the season after the Jets edged, edged the Blue Bolts 49 to 47. Tonight, the two teams met once again in the district semifinals, this time with a lot more at stake. Let's head to Jeffers High School for the game between the Jets and the Blue Bolts. We're going to start in the first quarter. Davin Hill with the ball. He's going to drive to the hoop and he'll find Connor LeClaire underneath. He's going to lay it in. It's 3-2 Dollar Bay. But here come the Jets. The three ball here, no good, but Christian Hawkins down low to snag the board. First try on the putback, no good, but the second attempt is good. It's 4-3 Jeffers. A bit later, Blue Bolts up three. John Schultz going to bully his way to the rim for the bucket. Dollar Bay's lead is now just one point. Jeffers looking for the lead now. Isaiah Fromm with a strong drive. He gets the hoop and the harm. He would hit the free throw to make it 9-7 Jets. The back and forth continues. Hill with the drive. He's going to absorb the contact, and he'll muscle it up and in. He would make the free throw to put Dollar Bay back up a bucket. Jeffers looking to answer. Nice ball movement by the Jets. Going to free up Lance Heinenen for the easy score. It's 11-10 Jeffers. Second quarter, Ashton Jenke, the Copper Mountain Conference Player of the Year, going to take the hard foul, but he gets it to go plus the foul. A few minutes later, Hill is at it again, putting his defender on skates. Dollar Bay is moving on to the district finals after topping Jeffers 66-57. Let's go to Ironwood, where the Red Devils looked for the upset of Iron Mountain. Early first, no score. Foster wonders with the drive. The shot here, no good, but Tony Farah is there for the board in the putback. Now, Farah doesn't get much press, but he works hard, and he's important for the Mountaineers. A bit later, Wonder is staying aggressive. Nice finish with the finger roll with the left hand. 6-1 Iron Mountain. Staying in the first quarter, Ironwood's Matt DiGiorgio going to see a lane. He'll slice to the rim for the score. Mountaineers' lead is now just five. And it's Mason Reckla. He'll drill the three from the corner. Red Devils down just a bucket. With the first quarter winding down, Wonder is going to rattle in the three from the top of the key. And the Mountaineers, they cruise in this one 87-49 over Ironwood. We're going to finish in Gwynn where the Model Towners welcome Nagani. Third quarter, Miners up 26-11. Jason Waterman going to knock in a triple. Nagani's lead is now 18. Gwynn comes the other way. The ball going to find Tristan Jancy, who's kind of camping out in front of the rim. He'll score it. We'll stay in the third. Drew Lindbergh going to see an opportunity for the steal, and he'll take it. He gets the ball and heads the other way for the lay-in. It's 31-13 Miners in the fourth quarter. Waterman and Drew Duchesne going to run the pick and roll to perfection. Waterman making the correct decision. Drew Duchesne going to lay it in. Nagani, they run away with a 66-33 win over Gwynn. But, you know, we we shoot the ball well, and then you get a little bit three-point happy. And with the nerves and everything, it, it was a point of emphasis. We wanted to attack the rim early in the game, and then and then as we got into the flow, then we just play our normal offensive game. So definitely part of it early in the game. More boys district semifinal scores for you. Marquette defeated Gaylord in a thriller, a 60-57 to win at the buzzer. Munising is moving on after topping Westwood 38-33 in overtime. Calumet bested Lance tonight 50-40. Escanaba defeated Kingsford 68-57. Menominee, they take care of Gladstone 54-41. Year and Trout Creek 57, Ontonagon 45. The Panthers are moving on. Rapid River cruises over Superior Central 70-40. And North Central going to run away with a victory over North Dickinson, 64-33.